morning, ma'am. Uh, am I speaking to the uh, woman of the house, please? Uh, yes, you are. And, and uh, can I ask your name, please? My name? Yes, uh, this is uh, Mitch Comstein calling from the San Francisco Humane Society. How are you this morning? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, my name's Nicole. Hi, Hi, Nicole. How are you this morning? Listen, I'm actually walking out the door to work. Oh, okay, can I ask you a few questions? We're doing a survey in San Francisco concerning pet ownership and families with pets. And it's fairly important to our society. And, you know, we, we do some great things with animals. And I thought I could ask you a few quick questions. All right, I'm a pet lover. I'll give in. Go uh, ahead. All right, great. Uh, does your family own a pet? Yes, we do. Okay, and what kind of pet do you own? Uh, we, we have a ferret. A ferret? A, a ferret, yes. Uh, all right, now you see, now, uh, Nicole... Uh, yes. that's the reason I'm calling. Um, uh, we actually oh. had reports that you, you do have a pet ferret. Yes, we do. Well, you had so, reports? Yes, uh, someone has turned you in that you owned a ferret. Now, do you realize that owning a ferret in California is illegal? No, I had no idea. We, it's, and, it's our pet. We love our pet. Well, I understand it's your pet, but you cannot own a pet ferret in California, and that's why I had to ask you to confirm if you actually had this pet in your home. Um... Being that you have the pet in your home, we're going to have to come and confiscate your animal. Oh, my God. You, you can't take it. It's our pet. My, my child loves this animal. Well, I understand it's your pet, but it, once again, it's illegal to have a ferret in California. So what, we're, we're going to send a crew down there uh, within the next half an hour. To half come an and, hour? Yes, and come and pick up your pet. Well, what are you going to do with What will happen to my pet? Well, well no, don't, don't worry, Nicole. What we can do, we have an arrangement an agreement with uh, a number of restaurants in Chinatown. And the pets are exterminated very humanely, and then they're used for food. You're kidding me. But no, ma'am. It's actually, uh, you know, the, uh, the ferret is a delicacy in certain populations of the world. You, you're telling me you actually sell my pet, which is illegal to have, to... Which I yes, and, and we sell it to, to certain restaurants, yes. You see, the reason uh, ferrets are illegal, illegal, well, the reason they're illegal in California is um, uh, we're trying to protect the ferret because many populations, being such a delicacy, a lot of uh, populations in a segment of our society might use the ferret as, as like a crop almost and, and use it as a, a main dish. Well, that's insane. You're going about this completely the wrong way. You're going to take my animal, my pet, and sell it for food because you're afraid people are going to raise it for food? That doesn't make sense. Well, yes, but it's a delicacy in certain parts of the world, and that's why we have to do it. Have you ever eaten ferret penis? Excuse me? Have you ever eaten ferret penis? Oh, my God, no. Wait, are you kidding me? Well, have you ever snacked on a ferret butt? Then you'd know why these animals are so... Oh, my God, who is this? this is... Uh, Nicole, N Nicole? This is Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Your husband, Tony, said to give you a call. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. You, you really know when that ferret butt is cooking up. All you need is one strong whiff. And you go, yeah, that's ferret butt. We'll be by to pick up your pet in half an hour, Nicole. Yeah. Not even knows I have a ferret. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Nicole. Oh, we'll keep it a I'm secret, Nicole. Have you ever eaten ferret butt? N no, I have not. Hold on the line. We have a little something for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> the ferret penis can be a little hard to swallow sometimes, but but the ferret butt, I'll tell you, they, you talk about a delicacy. <laughs> okay, uh, the traffic for the know, Dirty Friday morning commute. I just love our show, man. You just <laughs> never know what the hell's going to come up on this show. In South San Jose, northbound 101. At... Morning. Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Don. This is Don. Hi, Don. How you doing? We're calling from... Uh... Yeah. And I'm calling in regards to uh, your membership here at the gym. Yeah, what's going on? Well, uh, we've seen you working out. By the way, uh, got to tell you, we uh, we absolutely love the fact that you joined our gymnasium. Uh, we've noticed you're uh, you're a fairly regular uh, user of our facilities, and yeah. we just like to thank uh, thank you for joining because we, we we appreciate having a guy like you there. That's cool. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm calling though, uh, we're kind of interested in using you in an ad to promote the gymnasium. Really. Yeah, uh, you know, we like to send out brochures in the mail and, and that kind of thing, and like newspaper ads, and we'd like to know if you'd be interested in, in doing something like this for us. Um, I don't see why not. Okay, cool. Um, now, you, the next time you come in, we can uh, really touch upon all the details, but what we'd like you to do is, is uh, maybe uh, take some pictures of you while you're working out, and also 
uh, send you to a photographer for some of the brochures. Great. Okay. Well, um, what do I have to do? Well, what you have to do is just you know bring uh, bring some shorts. All right. Okay, and uh, maybe a muscle shirt or something with our gym's name. We'll supply that actually at the photo shoot, and uh, we'd act, we'd like to use you for like the before pictures. All right. The before pictures? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean, like, before pictures? Well, you know, before someone starts working out. You know, but when they're out of shape and they're kind of soft and that kind of thing, we could use you for the before right on the front page of our pamphlet. <sighs> what do you mean... Like the before and after thing? Yeah, yeah, but we, we will obviously use someone else's body for the after shot and just maybe put your face on it. Is this some kind of joke? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Well, we, we've seen you at the gym, and we thought, God, you'd be the perfect guy for this. So I'm the, I'm the skinny out of shape before. Yeah. And now, no, I don't know if I'd say skinny out of shape, just like soft. No, I, I wouldn't say that if I were you either. Listen, uh, you know, thanks a lot, but uh, why don't you go find... Go, go find somebody else, I think is what he said. <laughs> go find yourself. He, he hung up on us. Go find yourself in that photo. <laughs> go find yourself another soft boy. We'll, we'll have to give him a call back and tell him he was on the air. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was beautiful. Please, please, I just want to state to you that I called you by mistake. You actually were not our choice for the before picture. Yeah, I, I mis, mix, mixed up the numbers over here, and I accidentally called you. And uh, You should be our after picture, and I, I realized the mistake we made. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't know about the after picture, but I certainly wouldn't be the uh, before picture. Well, no, you see, Donald, I think we've got you slated in as the after picture, and we'd like to use you in some of our ads and the brochures, if that's possible, and it pays well. But... Uh, Th there is a little something that we've got to ask you to do on this. What's that? Okay, now, do, would, would you like to do this? Are you interested? I don't, I don't see how you're going to do it with the two different people, but well, yeah. Well, no, you see, what we do is we take one, a hand of one person, put it on the other, and we don't... See, I apologize because I got off on the wrong foot here. We don't want you for the before shot. We'd like to use your body for the after shot and your face for the after shot, if possible, all right? Okay. And put your, what we would have to do is put your face on someone else's body for the before shot as well to make it look like... Hey, you've worked out here. You've worked out for six months. And this is what happens. But we'd actually be using your body on the after shot. Uh, okay, is that cool? But here's, here's, I've got to ask a favor to you, and I don't know how receptive you're going to be to this. We've seen you working out at the gym, and I've actually seen you in the shot. Would, 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 would it be possible if you could, like, stick a sock in the shorts? Because I've seen you in the shower, bro, and I'll tell you what, we, we want people to know you're a man, not a woman. Who the hell is this? Hey, Donald, it's Lamont and Tonelli. Hey, it's Lamont Tonelli calling a gas channel. <laughs> You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. I'm going to stick a sock in your... Hey, 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 come on now. We're not taking that kind of photo. <laughs> Donald, you, you hold on. Yes, sir, you knew it was someone else after you hung up on us the first time. <laughs> hold on the line, okay? we got a little something for you. All right. KSJO oh, muscle shirt Friday. to wear down at the gym. Hey, good looking weekend they had today. Highs in the upper 70s. Tomorrow <laughs> near 80 degrees in San Jose. Hello? Good morning. Is Marina there, please? Who's this? Uh, this is uh, Mitch Kumstein. I met, uh, well, who's this? This is Marina's husband. Husband? Are you separated or something? She didn't mention anything about a husband last night. I met her last night at the bar. You did, did you? And she said, give her a call this morning. Listen, you... <laughs> you friend of mine? <laughs> Foe? <laughs> Wow, she was right. <laughs> oh, she geez. was right on target about well, Jose. Well, still a bit and give him a call back again. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, she warned us he might fly off the handle. I didn't think he would fly off the handle that quick. <laughs> uh, Hello? Good morning. Hey, I'm looking for Marina. Is this 
this you again? Yeah, hey, I, Mitch Kumstein here. I, I met uh, I met Marina last night, and listen, I don't appreciate you threatening me like that. Listen. She gave me her number. I'm giving her a call. I'd like to take her to lunch and treat her like a woman. I'm going to find out who you are, and I'm going to beat you to death. No, 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 you're, no, not Jose, want, hey, you're not going to want her anyway because I'm... No, 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 no. Listen, Jose. Hey, listen, Jose. Jose. Don't you even look at my wife or I'll kill you. Jose, listen. Relax, okay? Marina is a very wonderful woman. You don't even look at her. She's a very wonderful woman and she sucked my... <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. You Wait got me talking. Minute. You got me talking like uh, Tourette's boy. Uh, now the sense is flushing you. You got me talking like Tourette's uh, boy. Well, look what happens. You got me in that mind frame of mind. Now we have to call Jose back. Call him back. Because the sensor had to flush us. <laughs> oh, let's give him a call here. Nasty twist on Dirty Friday. <laughs> oh, now our phone system gone to, has gone to the crapper here. Randy. Hello. Hey, Jose. Mitch Kumstein calling again from Marina. Listen, man. What you said to me, that was very unfair. It was and sick and wrong, you, wasn't it? It was sick and very wrong. And when I find out who you are, you're a dead man. No, no, Jose, before you start threatening me, let me just say one thing. Marina actually told me to call you. Oh, well, she did. Jose, she? yes, she did. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJL. Jose, you're on the radio, bro. It's Dirty Friday. Really? Good morning. Jose? How's I'm on the radio. Yeah, how's Marina doing? I don't know. She's not here. Morning. Good morning. Is uh, Catherine, please? Yeah, that's she. Hi, Catherine. Uh, this is uh, Mitch Kumstein calling from, hey. and I'm calling in regards to the trip that you purchased to go to Green Bay. Oh yeah. Good. I'm glad I caught you at home. Listen, I know we're supposed to be leaving a little later on today. Yeah. But we've had some problems with the uh, with the trip, and it looks like all systems are off on this. What? It, it looks like. This? Wait a minute. What? My, this is Mitch calling from uh, from. Uh huh. Did I wake you up? Kinda, yeah. But I have to get up because I I've got like such an incredibly busy day. I'm getting out of here on a plane. You well, know you know, Catherine. Uh, on the bright side, you've got a lot of time to do what you're doing today. Uh, okay. So wait a minute. Let me understand this. You're telling me. Uh, the, the plans have been canceled. What, I mean, how can that be? Well, the charter flight that we had booked for the uh, for the uh, game just is not going to go. What do you mean it's not going to go? Well, it wasn't economically feasible for our company to send like twelve people to <laughs> to Chicago uh, what? No. to to oh, take yeah. the bus to Green Bay. Well, well, sorry, but no. I mean, I've paid for this. I've got this all hyped up. You. <sighs> If you only know what a diehard I am, there's no way. I mean, you're going to have to drive me there. Or, I mean, no, <laughs> look, no look, look, Catherine, there's no way we can afford to send the amount of people that signed up for this trip to Green Bay to see the game. Well, that sucks. I mean, no, no, no. You guys can't do this. There's no way in hell. Uh-uh. Well, but, 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 Catherine, there is. If you read the fine print of the agreement when you purchase this, you, you would realize that, that we have the right to cancel this trip at any time. No, no, I know. We, 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 would, we would lose about $30,000 if we sent, like, oh, well, 10, 12 people on this trip. We need... Well, you're not only going to lose 30000 No way. I mean, let me tell you, somebody referred me to, the, to your business, and if you're going to screw me over like this, there's, I'm going to make sure that <laughs> your name is ruined. Well, Ca no, Catherine, no, I understand... There's no way in hell that you can do this. Catherine, no. I understand your disappointment in this. Disappointment? However, however, disappointment? However, <laughs> Catherine, it's not feasible for us to send. Now, now maybe we can make alternate arrangements for you to alternate send you to the game. What are we looking at at alternate Well, arrangements? you probably have to leave sometime tomorrow morning and get to Green Bay late, late Saturday night. We'd send you on a, a flight, but at a last-minute booking like this, it'll probably cost you about $2,500 extra. Oh. Uh, no, at your expense, not mine. Well, uh, how could it be no, my expense? How. We're canceling the trip, but if you really want to go, we can make arrangements for you to go. Uh, well, yeah, but it's not going to be at my extra expense. No, you guys are going to foot the bill. There's no way in hell. Well, this sucks majorly. I will ruin your name and your business if you do this. No now, way. Now, I'm planning on this trip. I'm going to be on that plane. There's no way in hell. Catherine, you can do at this moment, there's no plane. We're not sending people now. We're canceling. That's why I'm calling you. No, no. It's impossible. No way, no how. You don't call me at 6.30 in the morning on the day that I'm leaving on a plane in order for me to get to where I, this is, no, uh-uh. Well, well no Catherine, Catherine, you've been informed that the trip is called off. So 
Okay, let me take down your name and number because this sucks majorly, and there's no way in hell that you're going to do this. Okay, okay, my, the sheds. my name, my name is Lamont Antonelli on 92 KSJO. Catherine, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Oh. Good morning. Who put me up to this? Your friend, your friend Jill said to give a call. I'm going, there's no way. There's no way. Jill said to give you a call. I, it's Dirty yeah, Friday. Okay. I think Jill is a little jealous you're heading off to Green Bay for the Niner game this weekend. He is so totally jealous. He's been ragging on me all week long. Hey, Catherine, I know you're a big 49er fan. You hold on, okay? We're going to get you a little something from the big snapper okay, this morning. Okay, thanks, guys. All right. hey, I love you, guys. Enjoy the ball game. Okay, I love your show. See you. Well, thank you very well, much. It's very nice. <laughs> it's 625. We are the Rock Lamont and Tonelli. 575 KSJO. Hello? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Is this? My, uh, this is, my name is Felice, Felicia. I'm calling from Pro Proposition 69 campaign. 69. Yeah, right. Are you in favor of 69 or do you think it sucks? Uh, everybody likes 69 and everybody likes to suck. Will, you be, is it? will you be going down to uh, the poll to vote? Oh, I've always liked to go down. Don't you like to go down? <laughs> I like to go down, yes. Don't you like to go down? Everybody likes to go down. Uh, will you be getting a head start? Hmm. And vote early a little bit, maybe? Uh, I like to give it. <laughs> oh, oh, man! We're learning a little more than we would really <laughs> like to know about. Our little Victor Mir. No, no, no Sully? Yeah. The, 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 the name would be Phil Lacio. Yeah, not Felicia. <laughs> 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 uh, I got the name Phil Lacio for you to call this gal up with. That's what I said. Uh, I think the last person named Felicia that sounded like you was probably at the exotic erotic ball last week. It's Phil Lacio. I didn't say Felicia. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. We got it on tape. <laughs> Hello. I'm, I'm sorry we got disconnected. I'm calling from, uh, my name is uh, Felicio. I'm calling again from Prop 69. Oh, Tom, you just love to call me in the morning and like plain dirty, this, don't you? This proposition is so important that I can even give you a pearl necklace if you come to vote. And what proposition is that? Proposition 69. Oh, you just love 69, don't you? You, know, you just love to do that head and toe action thing, don't you? <laughs> I do like lick, it. Lick, 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 huh? I want you to vote. In we between the toes, anywhere <laughs> you can get it, huh? We don't want Woo! you to... Let's do it, baby. I don't want Let's you to blow go. this opportunity to vote. What? I don't want you to blow this opportunity. Oh, blow. Blow <laughs> me down, baby. Go ahead. Todd, why do you do this to me in the morning? Uh, who? Why do you do this to me in the morning? I had a rough night last night, and I'm tired, you know, baby. You, you know, I, you, you know, any other day would be fine, but oh, you love to just talk. Early in the morning, you want to talk dirty. 69, whoo. 69 is very important. You want to do 88, it goes twice. <laughs> Arguments against 69 are <laughs> so hard that uh, so hard to swallow. Uh, hard to swallow? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not hard to swallow. You just got to know how to do it right. Hey, Alicia, <laughs> let me ask you something. Who in the hell's Tom? Who's this? This is Lamont Antonelli calling from KSJO. You're, oh. <laughs> you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Who? You. Your boyfriend Jeff said to give you a call. Who is Tom? Yeah. Oh, man. Who is Tom? <laughs> Who's this? Friend of mine likes to call up in the morning to oh, like to play around with me in the morning. Good morning. Oh, who is Tom? He's a friend of mine. Wow, hey. you just gave us an earful. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought so you thought your friend was calling? Oh, God. <laughs> Are you guys on the air? Yes, yeah, you're, you're, you're on the air. Oh, right. how dare he? Hey, well, Alicia. this is a bad Halloween if I ever had one. <laughs> Alicia, you hold on, okay? Lick, 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 lick. Uh, uh, Alicia, right. I, I, get okay. the, uh, I get the feeling you've never met a bad Halloween. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, hold on the line. We're going to set you up with a little Make something. Sure it's not hollow. I like it. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> You've yeah. already said enough, Alicia. All right. Hold on the line. Wow, she is a ball of fire. Goes, Tom, don't call so early. Tom, don't talk dirty Somebody to me Somebody get now. the mop out with that one. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Mary. Please. This is Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you? This is uh, Mitch Kumstein calling from uh, Human Resources at Target. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm doing all right. Good. I'm glad I, did I catch you uh, before you stepped out this morning? Yeah. Good. That's why we call early here. We start early at Target. 
Mm. Hey, listen. I like that. Oh uh, well, good. The reason I'm calling, we uh, I'm going over applications right now for uh, for employment, and as you well know, Christmas season is coming up, and we're looking to upgrade our staff. Oh well, that's that's great. All right, great. And uh, I see you have a lot of experience now. Now, c can we run down your uh, your resume here? Yeah. Okay, and your your work experience. Now, yeah. you you worked at you worked at Kmart before, I see. Yeah, that that was my last job at Kmart. Okay, and how long did you work there for? I was there for four years. And and, and uh, what did you do there? I, I was a cashier. You're a cashier at Kmart. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there any reason? Uh, why you left Kmart? Well, I felt like they weren't moving me up, and it was really time for me to be moving up in my career. So I decided that I'd leave. Uh huh. So, um, so they weren't moving you up, and and boom, you left, and that's why you're applying at Target. You want to move up in your career? Yes. Well, we take that as a compliment. We feel this is a step up. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Now, now, Mary. So you you left there for. Um, for uh, business reasons, I guess. Yeah. All yeah. right. And four years, that's a long time. Yeah, it, I, I, I liked it there. I liked the people and all. It was just, you know, when I saw I wasn't going to go places there, it was time to go. Uh-huh. Now, uh, prior to working at Kmart, where did you work? I worked at uh, McDonald's. I was in the, in the drive through part. Mm-hmm. And how long did you work there for? I was there just for a couple of years. A couple of years at K at, uh, at McDonald's, and then a couple of years at Kmart. Now, uh, oh, four four years at Kmart. Four years, four years at Kmart. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if we if we um, we we got to do a background check on you. Is there anything that you're not stating, or that we should be looking out for on this resume? What What do you, what do you mean? You're going to talk to the people that I worked for? Absolutely. Oh, well. Yeah, um, well, at, at Kmart, there was sort of a, a situation there. What kind of situation? Well, I didn't exactly leave on um, good terms with the people there. Well, what, what do you mean you didn't leave with good terms? What happened? I, there, I, there was a fight. There was a fight there. A fight? What, in the store? Or, or what, what, what do you mean there was a fight there? No, it was in the parking lot. It was in the parking lot. You had a fight in the parking lot? Was I was you, in were, a fight, yeah. You, you were involved in a fight in the parking lot? Yeah. And, and what, what caused this fight? What happened? Well, it was not me. I mean, I did not provoke anything. Uh -huh. I worked there for a long time, and my boyfriend, Luke, would pick me up almost every night at uh -huh. the end of the shift. Yeah. And there was this new girl who hadn't been there too long, and every time she saw my Luke... She was giving him the eye. She was giving Luke the eye. The eye. I mean, you know what I mean. And so, I mean, I was so nice with her. She was new. And I said, look, you know, you're stepping over the line there. This is my territory, and I don't want you doing that. Stay away from your man, yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, I told her once, and then it kept happening. And I told her again. And then, I mean, there's no third time. I mean, I had to kick her ass. So you, you, you kicked this gal's ass in the parking lot at work. It, she provoked it. I uh -huh. did. I yeah. did, but she, I mean, it was not my fault. Well, yeah, anyone, she was anyone overstepping could see that. Bounds. And yeah. I mean, if she hadn't been doing that, I'd never fight. I mean, I am not a fighting kind of person at all. Uh-huh. But when I have to fight, I will do it. Well, you, you, now, now, Mary, uh, you won't kick anyone's ass at work if we hire you, will you? No, 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 no. You had any other history of fights at work at all that we should know of? No. Just that one time you kicked Just, the gal's ass in the parking lot. Yeah. Well, I think we could overlook that. And and Mary, Luke is your boyfriend. Yes, he's, yes. He said to give you a call this morning. It's Lamont and Tanelli on KSJO. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday, Mary. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, this Mary, is a target calling. No, you're on the radio. You're on the radio right now, Mary. <laughs> Mary. Now everybody knows about my fight. <laughs> That's right. Thank you you. <laughs> you cleaned the floor with her, didn't you? Hey, Mary, you didn't bite her ear, did you? I just used my nails. I didn't get it in the <laughs> Well, of course. Wow, cat fight. Hold well, on. Hold on, Mary. I, I don't know if we have a job for I you. I won, though. I did win. <laughs> She's pretty damn proud of that. Mary, I don't know if we have a job for you, but hang on. We have something for you. Thank you. Uh, don't, go, don't go away. <laughs> Slightly embarrassed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but she did win. <laughs> Hello? Hello, good morning. Can I talk to Katrina, please? 
Um, there's no Katrina here. You mean Katrina? You mean Karina? Yeah, yeah. Could be Karina, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm calling from uh, the League of uh, Registered Voters, and I'm uh, calling for uh, Prop 69. Uh huh. Um, I want to know how you stand. How you stand on uh, 69? Are you for or against it? Oh, I don't really know what it is. Well, 69 deals with uh, leaking problems in our area. What? It, what? <laughs> if you are for 69, I would like to see you at the polls. Well, I'm definitely going to the polls. I just, I just need to know more about it, and, and you know, if it's, if it's good, I'll vote for it. Yeah, I said it, it deals with leaking problems in our area. So what? It deals with leaking problems in our area. Oh. What kind, what kind of problems is, what, what, what kind of problems do we have around here? Uh, leaking problems. Oh. Will you be going down in the polls? Yeah, I'm definitely going down. In the polls? Yeah. Okay. Are you in favor or against uh, 69? Well, I don't really know. You haven't explained to me what it is. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're kind of I, I, leaking problems, or what are you talking about? I'm talking like about... Pipes? <laughs> yeah, it could be pipes. But it's just about leaking problems. Any we, leaking we don't problem. have any problems with our pipes here. You don't have any problems with leaking pipes? No, no. Hey, Car Karina? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you stand on 69? Do you like it? Who's this? It's Lamont and Tonelli calling KSTO. <laughs> Karina, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Russell said to give you a call. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, we you understand. guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> we realize you didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> hey, hey Car what Karina? It's about leaking problems. So, <laughs> so you wrote down her name was Katrina at first. Yes. Well, it's Karina. Karina. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina. Uh, we are just a... Uh, the same names. <laughs> hey, we're just a ship without a rudder. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Karina, we're sorry. I think I get it now. Oh. <laughs> I, You're on the air. Well, I don't think I want to broadcast my feelings about this proposition. <laughs> <laughs> Karina, hold on the line, okay? We've got a little something for you. Oh, get now her, she gets yeah, it. Get her spoosh down for 69, okay? So, like, All right. All right. on the line, Karina. <laughs> okay. Thanks for being a good sport. It's 906. <laughs> You're on the rock. KSJO, Dirty Friday. Who do you want to ring? We'll do it for you. Hello? Hello, is Shelly Crank? Please? Hello? Hello, is Shelly? Yeah, please. Yeah, this is Shelly. Uh, hi, Shelly. This is uh, John Flint calling from Hustler Magazine. Who? John Flint. Okay. I'm a cousin of Larry's. Okay. And I'm calling in regards to the pictures you sent in. What pictures are you talking about? The pictures for our girl next door on Hustler. I didn't, I didn't send you any pictures. I don't know what you're talking about. The nude pictures you sent for our magazine. What? Shelly, I mean, Shelly we, we, we put those nude pictures in. They should be in this month's issue. And we'd like to know if you'd like to do some promotion for us. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't take any pictures. But Shelly, we received... Uh, your, now, let me ask you something. You have your blonde hair? Yeah. You're about five foot four? Five four or five six? Oh my God. Yes. And you get really nice tits. Wait a minute. I took pictures a long time ago. And... I don't know how you got those pictures, if, if these are even the pictures that you're talking about. But Someone sent us pictures of you naked. I thought it was you. Oh, That's why I'm calling. We'd like to know if you'd like a job uh, doing publicity for us on a tour. Listen, there's no way that you could put those pictures anywhere. I mean, I have a boyfriend right now. This is something that happened way, way long ago. And if somebody sent those in, I mean, this is, I mean, if my parents see these, this is not something that, that is... I can't even believe this. Well, Shelly, we thought you sent them in. As a matter of fact, the release was signed and everything with your name on it. Shelly? Is that correct? That's where you live? Listen, you know what? I don't even have... You know what? If I don't... If I don't you know what? I'm, I'm hanging up now. You... Were, you, were, you were, oh, she hung up. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, she sounded shook up. <laughs> well, we'll call her really back. She really sounded shook up. We'll call her back. Hello? Good morning, Shelly? Yeah? Is this Shelly? 
Yes, this is Shelly. Hi, Shelly. I'm calling once again from uh, Hustler. Listen, I want to tell you something. You cannot get away with this. I am going to get a lawyer. Well, listen, listen. You cannot listen, print listen, listen, listen. something that I have not given my... Shelly, Shelly, don't hang up on me again, okay? That, that's the reason I'm calling. I understand. What is your name? My name is Miss Tumpstein. And that's why I'm calling, because I understand why? you are very upset about this. Yeah, I'm extremely and, upset about this. And I talked to our legal department after I talked to you. Yeah. And they informed me that it's A-OK for us to print these because no. they were signed when they came in. Listen, I'm going to sue your ass off. No, no, listen, you listen, before you get excited, it, look, that it didn't help. not OK. Dr. Laura didn't give her permission when they were on the web. I don't care. And, and we're going to put you on our website, too. That's yeah, why, why even, we can make you a girl next door. We listen, can make some extra money on this. You cannot Show off your booty. You cannot get away with doing this because I know that I know my rights. Well, you, you know, I was going to ask you, do you think when we do get promotions, we can get you to save that thing a little better? I can't even believe this. I'm going to hang up right now. No, okay? no, before you hang up. Now, who's your boyfriend? Is it Byron? How do you know Byron? That's who sent these pictures in. Is that your current boyfriend or is that your old boyfriend? My current boyfriend. Is your current boyfriend? Well, I'm very confused right no, now. No, let me, let me, Shelly, let me just say this to you. What? Your girlfriend said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSTL. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the air. Oh, my God. So, oh, Shelly, <laughs> so you mean... <laughs> oh, my So Byron is your current boyfriend? <laughs> we, we thought it was your old boyfriend. Yeah, we thought it was an ex. What's the, what's the name of the ex that has oh. the dirty pictures of you? Oh, my God. What's the, what's the name of the ex that has the dirty pictures of you? Jerry. Huh? Jerry? Jerry. Oh! <laughs> oh, hold it. We weren't supposed to mention Byron. Oh! 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 So, Shelly, we didn't mean to do that Sorry to you. Sorry about that. Oh! <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, how would you describe these photos? What are you doing exactly? Oh, my God. That was a I mistake so on our part. We, okay. We, <laughs> I have so much trouble. Oh, <laughs> Shelly, we, I kind of made a mistake. I made, I misread the facts here. Oh you know, Sh Shelly, your girlfriend said, whatever you do, don't mention Byron. I thought, ah. So Byron's your new boyfriend? Oh, my God. Oh. I am up. The cruise without a paddle. Well, hopefully he didn't hear this then. <laughs> I hope he didn't, but he listens to you all the time. Oh, oh, hey, uh -oh. Shelly? Shelly? We are huge fans of yours. She Shelly, <laughs> let me ask you this. What? Your, your, your pictures? How many nude pictures did you take with your last boyfriend, Jerry? Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how many? Oh, no. Uh -huh. You know what? I'll tell you what. We'll call Byron and apologize for you if you send us copies of the pictures. No, I don't think so. <laughs> all right. Hey, Shelly, you hold on. We have a little something for you, okay? okay. A Le Montanelli t-shirt and a spooge towel so you can hide your sha face in shame. Okay, don't go away, okay? okay we'll also set you up with some uh, shaving cream and a razor. Oh! No, that's Dr. Laura. Oh, that's her me. Kid. Okay, don't go away, Shelly. Okay. Okay, it's 6.54, Lamont and Tonelli on Dirty Friday. God, I love Dirty Friday, man. Let's see if we have the right number here. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Darren. He's... Yeah, this is him. Hi, Darren. I'm calling from the uh, Santa Clara County Department, and I'm calling in regards to our warrant for your arrest this morning. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, sir, you uh, recently um, did not fulfill your sentence for your, um, for your current DUI. Is that correct? Oh, no. No, I just, I just finished my uh, program the other night. Sir, we, we have it under... Uh, authority here, the report from your alcohol awareness class has indicated that you came up insufficient in regards to fulfilling your probation. Well, no, I, I just, uh, no, I, Tuesday night would have been my 15th night. I just, I just completed the program. Well, sir, there, there must be some kind of mistake here then in the system. And I've got to tell you, our, uh, the, uh, the instructor who is working has indicated that you did not make all 15 meetings. Well, let's see. The, it was the 13 classes, and, and, then, I'm, and then the two AA classes. No, yes. sir, sir, you must go to 15 of the meetings plus the two AA classes. Um, You're supposed to do 15 classes in 19 weeks. 
according to your your probation. Uh, and you did 13 classes and two meetings. Uh, now, yeah. The AA meetings cannot take the place of the of the actual classes. Ah, uh, but oh, I think that's what the judge told us. He, he said, no, sir, I've got your paperwork directly in front of me. Well, I thought they 15. They got, they well, got yes, him. it's 15 meetings and two classes. Oh, no, I'm, I'm for sure. For the AA classes. So what, what we've got here is you did not fulfill your probation, and I'm so damn tired of people taking this lightly. Oh, hey, believe me. Who was this again? My name is Officer Mitch Cumstein calling from the uh, Santa Clara Department. So I'm now, would you like to arrange to come in and turn yourself in, or do we have to send a car after you? Well, Officer, I, I swear the judge, they, they explained to us 15 times. It was just a total... No, you're supposed to go to 15 meetings. Uh, I... I... I where he told my lawyer you know you're myself, probably looking at six months jail time we don't take this lightly in our county uh, I, I i can't do that i i bust my tail to get to these 15 classes well sir it's obvious you only went to 13 of them isn't it well yeah well 13 plus the two aa classes though and i swear you know, that's darren, what they told us darren you obviously misunderstood whatever you were told. Uh, well, the instructor's you know, I, report is correct, and it's obvious that you're going to have to pay for this. Well, you know, I, I need to get a hold of my lawyer because he was present when the guy told us 15 weeks. The guy being the judge. Yeah. Darren, get a hold of your lawyer and tell him and all of your friends and your girlfriend to turn on the radio. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. Darren, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> Darren, it's time for a reaming, and you were just reamed. Oh, I couldn't go back to the pokey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Darren. You know, they call it the pokey for a good reason. <laughs> Darren, hold on the line. We have a little uh, something for you, okay? <laughs> it's the striped Lamont and Tonelli shirt to wear to jail. You know, I th Darren, you know, you might want to check this out. Yeah. I don't know if... Uh, if you really have fulfilled all your meetings. I mean, if you're insisting you did 13 and 2, you might want to double check on that one. I'm sure, guys. We'll no, send you really. some soap on the rope. I, I'm trying to do you a favor here, Darren. Check Thanks. into it, because I think you still have a couple you, you meetings to You may be to in to. trouble here, bro. Say it ain't so. If, no, seriously, if you insist you've only done 13 and 2, I think, you gotta, you're, I think you're a couple of meetings short. I better check. Oh. <laughs> Hold on the line, okay, Darren? Take it from somebody who knows. We are The Rock, Lamont, and Tonelli.